Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In this video, I want to teach you how to use webhooks inside of System.io. Now, if you don't know what a webhook is, basically what it means is that it's going to take some information from one platform and then you can use it on another. It's like integrating similar to things like Zapier, except you're doing it manually so you can actually integrate them yourself. So to give you an example of what a webhook does, for example, if you had a landing page, if someone put in their information, you can then use a webhook to send that information you've collected to another software where it can then use actions on that end. So to give you an example of the different types of information that can be sent inside this webhook string, this is just a, an example. What we have here is the funnel step, the ID of the funnel. We've also got the funnel name, the type, so what kind of funnel step it is. We've also got the ID of the person. We've also got the name of the, um, the step. And then we've got the email address. We've also got the IP. And we've also got the email again. So this is a lot of the technical parts of it majority of the time you only really need to have email if you also collect name that will also be included so i'll show you about that in a little bit and the same goes for things like sales you can come through and see what different types of um, products have been purchased what types of payment processes have been purchased and then from that you can go and send it to your third party software to use it as you want now for me personally i use webhooks a lot inside of system.io to give you an example of some of the things i use webhooks for is if you go to my website funnelscene.com you will notice that i've got this little pop-up appearing here which is saying hey aaron's just joined the course well guess what every time i have a new member enter the course it actually sends a webhook to this third party software called evidence and then it creates this little pop-up with Aaron's name as he's the latest member inside of the course. Now the platform I use the webhooks with system.io the most with is actually one that's called InCharge. It is a CRM slash email marketing platform that basically integrates with everything, right? So I've got different survey software that I take people's information from. I've also got different form uh, software on different websites. And basically everything on all of my different websites all connect with InCharge. And then inside here, I can create some advanced automations. So then I understand exactly where people have come from, where they're going, you know, where they click, how they do that. And I can create behavioral based emails and actions from what these people actually do. So that's what it is. I've actually teamed up with these guys as well because I've been using them for so long. If you want to check it out, get a free trial and all that, it's down below. So let's get started. Let me show you how you can actually create a webhook inside a system and how you can connect it to your third party software. So the easiest thing to do is probably show you from a opt-in page or a landing page, collecting their name and email, and then we can send out the webhook from them. So let's just go to funnels. Let's just go ahead and um, say this one here, subscribe to the newsletter. It looks like a pretty standard looking funnel. Let me just have a quick look, make sure it's got all the steps. Okay, so that's real easy, nice and easy little step. Okay, so once you've created your landing page, you know, once it's ready to roll, what you want to do is come to the top here to automation rules. And what you want to do is click add rule. And then you go here funnel step form subscribed as this is an opt in page, and then click on add action. And then down here we have send webhook. Okay. And this is where we need to add in a webhook URL. Now how webhooks work is usually the platform that you're going to connect with your original data source. So a system is the data source. We need to send it somewhere else. That other place will provide you with a URL so you can add it inside of here. So what I'm gonna do is log into my InCharge dashboard. What I'm gonna do is create a new flow, which is like an automation um, sort of segment. I'm gonna click add flow. And I'll just start from scratch. And now that this has loaded, what I want to do is add in the first trigger. So what's actually going to trigger this flow or trigger this automation? And it's going to be receive webhook, right? So what we're going to do is drag in a webhook. And whichever platform you use, there'll be a place that provides you a webhook. And just click on that. And then here we have our webhook URL. So I just click on copy. I'm just going to name this the, the funnel scene newsletter um, demo. Okay. And then I'm going to come back to system, come inside here and paste in, oops, 
I'll just paste that again, paste in the webhook and click on save rule. Now every time that this is subscribed, every time someone comes in and puts in their information, it's going to send that information all the way to my InCharge account and it's going to collect it from there. So I'll click on save and what it's actually going to do is wait until we send some information through. So what I'm going to do is come back to the page. I'm going to just preview it. Okay, and I'm just going to put in my name here. Um, Phil, hello at, um, I'll just put another website for now. Hello, I'm philwilson.com. Click subscribe to newsletter, get your welcome pack. Okay, so I haven't got a thank you page. I'm going to shoot a tutorial for that just after this. But inside here, you can see now we have got all this information sent from in uh, from system right so we've got the name of the form subscribe to the newsletter we've got the, the type it's a squeeze page um, and we've also got down here emails is this is the email address first name is Phil IP address everything like that and when it was created so I'll click on continue now it's going to ask you to map the fields you can click auto map if you want um, not all the time it's going to work depending on the different type of platform you're using I like to do it manually anyway so what I will do is come inside here, find email, click on email, right? Keep coming down, find first name, add first name, okay? And that's pretty much done. All I like to do as well is um, I create one called subscribed into. It's really cool in this platform. You can just create your own tags and it just lets me know where people have actually opted in from to start their journey inside of my platform, okay? So I'll click on save. And now that webhook is done. And then inside here, this is where you can start, you know, customizing things as you want. So I usually do stuff like add a tag, right? Add them there. This tag could be, you know, um, I'll just create a new one. Funnel scene, um, newsletter, demo, just for this example, All right? Click create. Okay, click on save. That's done. And now inside of here, I can do everything from like, you know, send them an email, make them wait, um, anything I want. And now I have a record of this person for as long as I want, okay? So this is cool. So another good thing about like InCharge as well, it's a pretty cool software because you can add in a tracking code to all of your websites and you can see where people come and go. So if they come like 10 times in a couple of days, they're obviously interested in your stuff, which is pretty cool. So I'll just turn this on. Okay, I'm gonna change the flow to um, Funnel Scene Newsletter Demo, okay. Demo, okay. And let me get out of here. Okay, so here it is here. Uh, it's all good to go. So what I'm gonna do is come back into system. I'm gonna go back into the page once again, and I'm gonna type in something random. Um, let's just say Bob, you know, Bob the builder at gmail.com. Okay, click on subscribe to the newsletter. The, the email is in, invalid, that's pretty interesting. I'll just say um, hello at funnelscene.com. Should be all right. Click on subscribe. Okay, and then if we come to my in charge dashboard, what I can do is it takes a little bit for the first one to come through, but you can see all of the different people coming through your step, which is pretty cool. And then also inside of your account, that's when you can see it. So I'll actually pull up my uh, my profile now that it's started. I just won't <laughs> show you all of the other people around it. Okay, so this is my new account that's just been created. This is like a CRM. You can um, see what's been happening. It's been tagged with the F FS newsletter demo. If I click on this account, you can see you know all this activity based on what they do. And every time they come back, it's going to be tracked now as this platform adds in a tracking pixel. So it's pretty cool, right? So that is it. That's how you use a webhook inside of system.io. It's extremely easy. And let me just show you a different way how you can add in the webhook as well. Um, that's a simple way of using the funnel page, right? So you keep everything under one funnel. You can also come to automations and workflows. This is actually where majority of my webhooks are added. But let me just create a new one for you. So I'll just call this the F, uh, FS newsletter. Okay, click on create. Then inside here, I'm gonna just turn it on as well, just so I don't forget later. Okay, so that's on. Come to the FS newsletter. Once again, you're gonna start with a trigger. Trigger is going to be um, every time a funnel form is subscribed and the form is probably gonna be the bottom one. I've got so many. Subscribe to the newsletter, create. Okay, so that's gonna trigger this automation. And the next step is going to be action. 
Okay, choose webhook and type in the webhook URL. So I'll come back to um, my flow. Okay, flow, this one here, and I'm just gonna copy this link once again. Come inside workflow builder, click on paste. And then that is done. Now I'm gonna delete this one because you don't wanna have two webhooks sending the same thing to the same place. But it's great because what you can do is send as many webhooks to as many places as you want. Um, using system and this is how you really get around all of the different sort of limitations from system you can use things like Zapier but I personally don't like Zapier that much because you're relying on a third-party platform um, so this is why I like webhooks and that's why I use uh, InCharge because you can connect so many different third parties with InCharge which just makes it great okay so that is pretty much it guys that is how you use webhooks inside of system.io once again you can send webhooks outside of system but you can't receive any inside but then again you can always use zapier if you want to integrate other platforms as well but that is pretty much it it's a very cool feature to have i absolutely love webhooks because then you can do things like this where you can have badges um, where it shows proof of people actually joining your course or you can integrate it with other third-party software for example in charge or any other type of marketing platform so it's really cool because it just gives more possibilities instead of being limited to just one platform especially because these guys are relatively new they're growing extremely quickly i know over time the features will be there just right now they're not quite and i'm quite impatient so i like to make things work anyway if you have any other ideas for videos that you want me to create let me know down below more than happy to look into it and if you want to learn more about in charge i've left a link down below as well there's a special deal on for that but that's it from me guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i look forward to seeing you on the next one